Hello, my name is Jens Bele and I'm with the University of Bonn. Today I present our work on domain transfer for semantic segmentation of LiDAR data using deep neural networks, which was presented at IROS 2020. In this work we are interested in semantic scene understanding provided by LiDAR-based semantic segmentation, where an approach needs to assign labels for each point of a point cloud. This information is particularly important for self-driving cars as it provides it with information about the functional road surface types found in the surrounding, such as road, sidewalks, and parking areas. But it also provides it with the information about the extent of traffic participants, such as cars, bicyclists, and pedestrians. However, approach is trained on one specific sensor in a specific sensor configuration, usually do not generalize well to other sensor configurations. Here shown is an example where we have trained a semantic segmentation approach on a data set provided by a 64-beam LiDAR sensor and apply it to data provided by a 32-beam LiDAR sensor. On the left you can see the ground truth annotation of a traffic junction where pedestrians are crossing the traffic junction. On the right you can see the prediction results of this model which we were only trained on a 64-beam LiDAR data. Here you can see that the traffic participants are wrongly classified and also the road surface is wrongly classified as terrain. In our paper, we propose a sensor-oriented approach to circumvent this problem and generate labeled point clouds for a target sensor setup from existing labeled point clouds. Important to note is that we only need labels for the source data and don't need to label the target data set again. Our goal is to generate point clouds that resemble the characteristic of the target sensor setup. To this end, we use a sequence of consecutive labeled point clouds which we then aggregate in an aggregated representation um, either by a dense point cloud representation or a mesh generated from a truncated sign distance function. Using this aggregated representation, we then use ray casting together with the uh, target sensor setup to generate synthetic point clouds that resemble the characteristic of the target data set. Using this synthetic data set, we then can train a, a semantic segmentation approach for the target data set. We evaluated our approach on a scene from a new scene dataset, which we manually labeled to determine the performance of the semantic segmentation network, trained either only with the original semantic kitty dataset or with our manually, uh, with our synthetically generated um, point clouds from this dataset. Our results show that the range net trained only with the original semantic kitty data performs poorly, reaching below 20% mean intersection over union, shown here by the gray bars. When we now compare this to our approach, which was trained with the synthetic point clouds generated with the target, uh, specific target configuration, we can see that we improved the results to over 36% mean intersection over union. We, in the paper, we also investigated when we use on top of this also an unsupervised domain adaptation approach, the correlation alignment, we can further improve the results a bit. Coming back to our initial example, here we can see that our approach leads uh, to more coherent results and also uh, now correctly classifies the pedestrians again as pedestrians and also the road surface correctly. Find more details and additional experimental results in our paper. Thank you for your attention.